Hello, but anyway, you are a topkin, a green guithio of Elkin Horrid, Arbinigol, or give a plant, dusky get a lois, a skilly eye, get a cavoit material come re. Do you mean get a key, sit red any way that bluggy in cursor for the guarhot need that bluggy art and material than our question. Red any way you that bluggy scenario so for the can then the technique man to hear Arbinigol. I thought that a skin view, a chenix in yadai, am roll like a suidi and a devodol. A senyad teol in her forgan scenarios, you can yet tie the square, bravi a guithio i ffordd trwy weithgareddau cysylltiedig, sydd a chanyniadau a negeseon sylfaen o pwysig. Gallai the square dewis y syniadau a'r gweithgareddau sy'n cydfynd a'u cynllunio eu hunain, neu gallai'n gyflwyno'r syniadau o gyfan. Cefn dyr, ein cwrs y ffordd i gwarchod neu ddatblygu ardal naturiol, cyntaf yr ioed oedd bod cais am ddatblygiad manwerthu a hamdden mawr y tu allan i'r dref wedi gyflwyno gan gwmni ddatblygu masnachol. Gan ymgymryd ar rôl cynghorwyr tirwedd Cyfoeth Nysiro Cymru, fe wnaeth y mynychwyr weithio trwy ystod o weithgareddau dysgu awr y goreid traws cwricloedd, a gallwch wneud y rhan fwyaf ohoni nhw yn yr awr y goreid i ymchwilio i'r hyn a oedd yn arbennig am ardal naturiol. Mae'r gair cynefyn yn cyfle mwy na dim ond lleoliad deirydol. Gellir ei ddefnyddio i ddisgrifio ein perthynas ar amgylchedd naturiol a sut mae'r cysylltiad hwn yn ffurfio ein hunaniaeth, ein llesiant a'n ymdeimlad o berthyn. Gyda'r cwriclwm i Gymru fel canllaw, fe wnaeth y cyfranogwyr ystyried rhinweddau neu anfanteision y cais cynllunio trwy'r chwech maes dysgu a phrofiad. A fydd pwyllgor cynllunio'r cyngor yn cefnogi awgrymiadau cyfranwyr mentris creadigol sydd am ddatblygu'r tir, hybu'r economi leol a chreu swyddi. Neu, a fydd gwrthanebiadau dinasyddion egwyddorol gwybodaeth Sir Flint sydd am warchod y dirwedd ar gyfer cenedlaethau'r dyfodol yn ei perswadio i wrthod y cynnig. Gwarchod neu ddatblygu ardal naturiol. Pe bai chi'n wredig ein scenario gyda'ch dysgwyr, beth byddai eu penderfyniad pe bai cais cynllunio yn cael eu gyflwyno i adeiladu ar faes eu hysgol neu barc lleol. Mae Stacey Jones, y thrawes blwyddyn 456 o Ysgol Lixwm yn Sir Flint a fynychodd yr hyfforddiant, yn esbonio sut gwnaeth hi roi'r syniadau a'r gweithgareddau a'r waith gyda'u dysgwyr. The, the project that we've undertaken is a scenario-based mantle of the expert project which involves an area which is very local to the school, Hulking Mountain. We attended the training and lots of teachers were immersed in the experiences and the outdoors um, and then brought it back into class. And so the children currently believe that Fletcher County Council are planning on creating a retail park on Holcomb Mountain and they have been tasked with investigating the pros and cons as to whether that should go ahead. And the purpose of the immersive um, project-based tasks is to try and get the children outside for a purpose rather than just for um, outdoor learning for the sake of going outside. And so lots of the project work that we've undertaken with this has been um, very immersive cross-curricular new curriculum experiences for the children which they are fully engaged with. The project has been able to cover all areas of learning within the curriculum and that is the first time that we've been able to have a fully encompassing topic um, as opposed to teaching subjects discreetly. It's also managed to cover an awful lot of the four purposes. In Humanities, the children started off by looking at um, the history of Hulking Mountain, as Hulking Mountain is extremely rich in history, particularly with the lead mining and, and the quarrying that's gone on, on, on the mountain over the past. And they've done a timeline based on the history of Hulking Mountain which has led really nicely into our RE work on creation and how the world was created. Being a church school, it's always very difficult to encompass RE within our curriculum, but this project's done it beautifully. With the work that we've done with regards to respective arts and the work that we've done with our science and technology area of learning, the children have mainly been outside to produce their work, sketching within their local environment, using noise meters and lux meters to record the light levels and the noise levels within the local area and how that impacts should a retail park be built 
and this has benefited the children hugely in terms of engagement, in terms of mental health and well-being and being able to um, express their feelings about their local area and their connecting and have a deeper appreciation of where they live and what is within their doorsteps.